hello my lovely year 13s it is the easter holidays and you have two and three weeks off in the glorious sunshine before you get back to school and exams start to feel very close so how can we best use our easter holidays to do well in our exams So as year 13s, you guys are very unique as a year group. Now, that goes without saying, because all year groups are unique, but you are the year 13s that are gonna go into your A-level exams never having sat GCSE exams. The, the, the pressure of sitting in that exam hall in a real exam, doing two or three exams a day for two, three, four weeks on end, is not something you've experienced before and you are about to go in to that so what i would like you to do for this exam period is slowly get yourself used to doing things in exam conditions so last time i spoke to you i spoke to you about doing exam papers doing them open book revising skipping questions that we know aren't going to be in there because of the advanced information um checking answers and playing music and having it really really okay I would like to step things up, tiny little step things up a gear over Easter and be saying I would like you to do exam papers in exam conditions. Now it is not going to be, I'm not saying you need to school and having invigilators and a school hall. Do it at home so you can still have your cup of tea but try best you can to do it in silence and try to stick to the time limit so that you can see if you can get a whole paper done in the exam time, the time allowed in the exams, can you get the multiple choice question section done or do you need to spend some time practicing your multiple question, your multiple choice question skills, techniques? Is that bit you need to practice or are you spending way too long writing an essay? Do you understand the command work? Now in a normal year, I'd tell you to go and download as many exam papers as you can from the exam board website. But this is not a normal year because we have the advanced information. So just picking any exam paper to do isn't going to be great because you have to go through beforehand and cross out stuff that isn't going to be in there. And then there's not going to be the amount of marks, not the amount of time. So what I've done for you, which are coming out on Monday, I've written exam papers for you based on the advanced information and based on what I think is going to come up in this year's exams. So my predicted papers for 2022 for a level for the exam board i have sat there and i've gone through the specification and i've gone through the advanced information and i've gone through all the past papers and i've just thought which is a luxury in teaching having time to just sit and think how could this bit of information go with this bit of information to come up with an exam question it is quite a long and involved thinking process but i'm really really i'm, I'm feeling pretty good about this year's predicted papers they are available for immediate download over on my website. And this, in my opinion, is one of the very, very best sorts of revision that you can be doing at the moment. Predicted papers, practice papers, exam papers, based on the advanced information so that you are not wasting time on stuff that we know is not going to come up but it still has the right amount of marks and it still has the right time scale for you so that you don't get confused so you don't get distracted by other things now if there is something in one of the exam papers that you are doing that you do not understand do not let it put you off do not let it throw you completely because this is still revision you can go and look up the answers so you can go and um look up what this is look up what this is sort out what you need to do if there is something you don't know use it learn from it and say good luck good good job that this wasn't my real exam that this is still revision i can go and look that up but do not let it completely ruin your day do not let it really really get you down look at it as a learning experience and look at the mark schemes as well is the reason you didn't get full marks in this question was because you just didn't show enough working out if you look at your answer could an examiner find the bits that are in the mark scheme in what you've written because some of your calculations get very very long and they could get very very messy do we just need to lay things out a little bit better to make the examiner's life 
easier? Is it because you misunderstood the command word or is it because you didn't read the question fully? This is all exam technique which can be fixed and now is the time to fix it. We can do all of this now. We still have loads and loads of time. Do not, however, spend the whole of the Easter holidays sat inside at your desk revising. Um, get outside, enjoy the sunshine hopefully um make sure you're going out for nice long walks seeing people getting some fresh air all of this is really really good healthy exercise you think use things like you know the pomodoro technique where you set your time and then you have a break maybe not while you're revising but while you're doing the open book papers um that's a great thing but maybe not while you're doing the the exam practice paper good luck guys um i'm gonna be getting as much stuff out for you as quickly as i can what i'm working on now are like the whole topic videos for overchemistry they're massive it's taking ages um but i'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way ouch This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.